those of you that already know me know that I get pretty cranked up about certain firearms. Well, the one that I really like is the Steyr AUG, especially after I got to fire the full auto version. So imagine my surprise when I walked into my local gun shop and lo and behold they had one right up there on the wall. So it's nothing but blue skies for KGB because I got me a semi-automatic Steyr AUG. Let's take a look at this thing. Steyr Austria was marketing a semi-automatic version of the AUG in the United States back in the 1980s. That lasted until the 1989 import ban, at which time they responded by making the USR, which was a version that lacked the flash suppressor, and it also had a thumbhole stock where this area was filled in right here. That lasted until the 1994 Clinton crime bill where they banned all importation of assault weapons. That even stopped magazines from coming in. Then that lasted until the sunset of the assault weapon ban in 2004, at which time Steyr began importing their magazines once again. A large number of Steyr AUG receivers were cast at Anchor Harvey in Illinois. In 2009, Steyr introduced their AUG A3SA, which was built by Sabre Defense in Nashville, Tennessee. Sabre Defense is known for making parts for the military. In 2010, Sabre Defense had legal problems revolving around exportation laws. So they actually went out of business at that point. In 2012, Steyr began assembling the AOG A3SA using Sabre Defense's leftover machined receivers in Trussville, Alabama using factory trained gunsmiths. And when the Sabre Defense receivers run out, they're going to go with Ultor, V-L-T-O-R. That's the company that's going to be doing the machine work on the castings from now on. To disassemble the AUG, you start by removing the magazine. You press up on the magazine release with your left thumb and pull down. Then you pull the cocking slide back, palm facing up, and rotate it clockwise, resting it on the indentation of the receiver. Then you check the chamber. Next you remove the barrel by holding the barrel grip in your left hand. Press the barrel lock pin button down and rotate clockwise. Pull the barrel out. Push the receiver lock from left to right with the thumb of your right hand. and remove the receiver and the bolt from the stock. Remove the butt plate by holding the stock vertically. Press the indentation of the butt plate with the thumb of your right hand while pressing the retaining bolt with the thumb of your left hand. Hold the stock with your left hand and pull the butt plate top side first off the stock. Press the retaining bolt lock and pull the retaining bolt off the stock with your left hand. Then you just pull the trigger mechanism out of the stock. Okay, with the AUG disassembled, 
we can easily see the six component groups here. The barrel, which is a cold hammer forged, one and nine twist, chrome lined bore and chamber. That's made by FN, right here in a good old USA. The receiver, with the integrated Picatinny rail. Uh, now this is the A3 version. The A2s still had the one and a half power sight on there, the scope. Uh, they also had the option of having a uh, Picatinny rail that looked a little bit different than this. It came up off the top of the receiver a little bit. The scope I have mounted here is a Trigicon 1 to 4 by 24 AccuPoint. The trigger mechanism the self-contained module located in the rear of the stock designed for semi-automatic fire only. The bolt with the right hand eject which is standard. Uh, you can switch the ejection port here and get a different bolt and make it a left hand eject by switching this to the other side. The stock is a bullpup style reinforced nylon based polymer. Another version that is uh, the optional NATO magazine conversion. Those sell from Steyr for $369. Magazines are transparent synthetic 30 rounders with an optional 42 rounder that was designed for use with the light machine gun barrel. The 30 round magazine lists for $45 through Steyr and you can find them cheaper through other vendors online. An interesting feature of the A3 version is the bolt release on the left side of the stock. So I thank you for watching my review on the Steyr AUG A3 SA USA. This is KGB signing off.